What is everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ford Air. You got me, Solomon here, and uh, we're here in North Carolina. If you saw the last video, you saw that I flew here to buy a truck, and uh, here it is. I got this 67 from Donald. Donald, tell me a little about this truck. Well, we have a 1967 Crown Vic front end, uh, stock nine inch axle flip, rear disc brakes, 2017 Gen 2 Coyote. Oh boy. And this is board Wellington fuel tank, aluminum radiator. Some fat fender garage goodies. Yeah, fat fender garage, power by the hour, evac kit, fat fender garage delete, ICMRs, and power pack by Ford. Electric power steering by Volvo. <laughs> Heck yeah. Power disc brakes. So, uh, uh, stock 600. So the truck is mostly stock and original. It's got, like you said, the Crown Vic front. It's got the stock nine inch. It's been uh, flipped and it's got disc brakes on it. Interior is pretty stock. Don't have gauges, don't have air conditioning, but it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna be driving this thing all the way back to Miami. Uh, I think it's, I don't even know how many miles it is, but it's over a thousand miles. Yeah, but first I'm gonna be driving to Atlanta. So today <laughs> we're gonna go to Atlanta. Yeah. And uh, there we go. So I'm gonna check this truck out and then we're gonna go for, uh, I, I guess not for a short cruise, we're gonna be going for a long cruise. So I'll see you when we start hitting the road. All right guys, so we're going on the first little rip over here. First test drive. So earlier I said that there was uh, no AC and heat. I was wrong, there is heat. So I'm not gonna freeze completely to death. Just leaving right now and uh, a little bit of a change of plan just because my day got a lot uh, a lot shorter because I was hanging out so I'm actually gonna crash tonight at Mike's so right now I'm driving back to Mike's and uh, we'll see you guys there all right guys so first fuel up we got a Boyd welding tank so you gotta use their special key, and yes, that is a rusty bed floor. I don't care. All right, so just finished fueling up. Uh, 66 bucks. I don't see how many gallons because it doesn't show, but it was 342 a gallon. So I'll do the math later. But going to Mike's house, all fueled up and uh truck's driving pretty good definitely needs brakes so i'm gonna have to hit up bear get some brakes because this thing is super sketchy on the braking side but other than that drive really well guys so we made it back to the house and uh, we actually brought it inside because what we want to do is weld the leaf spring perches instead of having to bolt it on so let me show you why so right here these perches they're just bolted in which means that the axle can actually rotate and the reason why you don't want that to happen is it could start breaking u-joints and making all types of trouble so I'm gonna come in here gonna lay down some welds just so that way that's locked in place and that way it makes burnouts that much safer to do and um, let me give you guys a little look at the bottom of this because it actually looks really nice so got the coyote up front 
aluminum radiator. Got the electric fans over here. Hold on, let me grab my light. See? And then you've got everything nice and plumbed. You see the shift cable. You got the fat fender garage transmission cooler. You got the Stifler's uh, cross member, so that way everything holds nicely. The exhaust is very well done. Everything, all the fuel lines and everything is routed nicely. And yeah, out back it's just a little flip kit, still on leafs. It's nothing too fancy, but she goes down the road. So right now we're going to uh, weld that up and I'll show you guys. All right guys, so just weld it up. It's not my best or prettiest welds, but it'll hold. It's better than no welds. And uh, yeah, so now we're gonna take it off the lift. I'm gonna think about maybe taking the wheels off like a weld this side. So uh, you'll see if we do that in the next clip. everybody so forgot to uh, give you guys a little outro last night but me and Mike finished up welding on those spring perches and then went to bed because it was tired I had to edit the first video from day one getting out here but here we go truck we're gonna check tire pressures and uh, get her warmed up and then I am gonna hit the road but uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna end this video here I think I am so as always subscribe to the channel if you can smash that like button it really helps drop a comment below tell me what you think tell me what you think we should do to it um any name suggestions anything like that and uh fordera.com if you want to get some cool merch catch you later